Hey guys, I am here at the Central Laser Facility just south of Oxford and I'm here with Target Fabricator Donna. So, hello. Hi. Who are you and what do you do? So, like you said, my name's Donna, Donna Wyatt. Um, I work here at the Central Laser Facility at the Rutherford Appleton Laboratory as a senior mi micro-target fabricator. That sounds very, very fancy. <laughs> what are micro-targets? So, micro-targets are 3D structures um, that are made up of multi-components or single bits of material that are used for experiments that are conducted here on the high power laser. Great. So you do very, very fancy science all day. In school, did you like science? I did like science. Um, there were certain areas of science that I enjoyed, but science as a whole didn't really capture my imagination when I was at school. So can you tell us your, your results, your GCSE results? Are you Happy to share that with all of us. I am, I am. Um, my GCSE results were quite shocking, to be honest. I didn't do very well at school at all. Um, my main interest was was horses, so I, I wanted to spend as much time as I possibly could with my horse. So yes, I didn't do very well at school at all. And then what did you do after school? So it was actually my mother that suggested, uh, because I really didn't have a clue what I wanted to do after school, and she suggested, um, I, was quite, I was always quite good at makeup and enjoyed applying makeup and things like that. Um, and so she, she suggested why not try um, going and doing beauty therapy at, at college. Um, so once I left school, I went to college um, and studied beauty therapy for a year. Um, once I finished there, I then went on to, I actually went on to work at the body shop as um, adv advising on makeup, like wedding makeup and things like that briefly for about six, seven months I was there. So how did you end up as a physicist? Well, I ended up working here um, because my father-in-law um, was head of our electrical department and the job came up in Target Fab um, and he suggested applying for it, thought I might be good at it. Um, and instantly, my instant reaction was like, no way, I can't do that. It's all scary science. You've got to be really clever to do that sort of thing. Um, so he, he said, no, not at all. Come in and have a look around. Um, so came in, had a chat with um, the chap that was running the lab at the time. Um, learnt a little bit about what they do, um, applied, had the interview, uh, managed to use my my skills that I picked up doing beauty therapy with all the fine tweezers and paint brushes and that sort of thing, and managed to um, adapt that to, to what they do in the job and got the job and that was more than 21 years ago now, so I've been here ever since. And Donna's very kindly taken us on a tour of her lab, shown us um, what she does, and there's going to be a whole separate video taking you through all of that. So on a day-to-day -day basis, what is the most fun thing about your job? The most fun thing? Um, probably coming in and not always knowing what my day's going to hold, really. Um, so I'll, I'll come in at about half past eight after I've done the school run, and I'll go and see the, the lazy users just to, to see what if they want anything for the day. Sometimes they'll they'll be in the middle of their setup, setting up all the laser and everything, so they won't necessarily want many targets for that day, but then the following day, they might have everything all aligned and set and ready to go, and they might want to shoot 30 targets in one day. So uh, until I get in, I'm not, I'm not sure quite just how busy I'm going to be for the day. Um, so I quite enjoy going over and, and having a chat with them in the morning, finding out what they want from me for the day. Um, and then I'll go into the lab and, and start putting these tiny things together. And what about the worst thing about your job? Is there anything you can like, oh, I'm not doing that again? <laughs> the worst thing is probably um, some of the things can be incredibly frustrating to put together because they are so tiny. I mean, some of these these structures are, uh, or these components, these targets, especially thin film coatings, are as thin as, say, 10, 10 nanometers. And if you think of a, hu a human hair is somewhere between 70 and 100 microns thick, then if you're only working with a few nanometers, you're, you're looking at atoms and angstroms rather than, you know, millimeters and microns. So some of these things are really, really tiny. So really difficult, really frustrating to handle. Um, and then sometimes you'll create a masterpiece that just looks fantastic and it's all aligned perfectly, all put together perfectly. And then you'll give it to the users and they'll obliterate it within seconds in the laser. So that's, that can be a little bit a little bit disappointing but, but no it's all it's all for good causes so are there any opportunities that you've had um that have been a bit surprising that you never thought you'd get to do uh like what kind of like in your whole time here mm. what has been like the most 
un like surprising thing that you never expected you'd get a chance to do? I've been really fortunate in all my years here. I've been able to go on all sorts of training courses. Um, I've learned many, many things in the world of science that I, I didn't learn at school. Um, so I've been really lucky there. I've managed to travel with my job to different countries um, to do um, conferences and that sort of thing. Um, there's, there's very few places that do the type of job that I do. So it's nice to, to go and visit some of these other places and, and see their setups and, and talk to them about issues that they might have when they're making targets or similar sort of things. I went back to college, which was good as well, something I never thought I'd do, um, just to go back and do a bit more science at college. Um, so what was the best, best country you got to visit? Through, uh... um, been to Germany a couple of times. Sorry. Um, there's a place, or a couple of places in the States I'd quite like to go to, so I'm working on that one. <laughs> but not been there yet, sadly. When I was in school, when I was looking for a job, one of my criteria was that, you know, I got to wear jeans to work every day, and you are wearing jeans. I Would you say this jeans. is your standard work outfit, jeans and... Yeah, a pair of boots, pop, pretty much. Shoes yeah, and... even trainers and a hoodie sometimes, depending on who I've got to interact with throughout the day. Yeah. I dressed up a little bit for you guys oh, today. thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so kind of like you know you can wear jeans and hoodies and you get to travel yeah um do, do, do you much sitting at a desk or you can kind of like I wandering around do we we're very lucky we've got opportunity to wander around if we need to um the type of job i do like i was saying earlier can be really frustrating sometimes you just need to get up go and have a wander around have a bit of fresh air and, and then perhaps come back to something that's really frustrating you so it, i am i've got a desk based upstairs and then sat down at the, at the microscope in the lab. But I'm, I'm definitely free to get up and have a wander around and, and take as many breaks as I need if I'm working on anything particularly stressful. Lovely, so your job involves like making tiny targets while wearing jeans and you get to travel lots. Yeah. Sounds lovely. It's pretty cool. Lovely. <laughs> Thank you very much for uh, taking the time to talk to us. No problem at all. If you want to find out more about apprenticeships, about work experience or working here for the summer, then there is going to be loads of information down below.